Alright, this is Nabs, and we're back with the Outer Worlds. Uh, I'm doing the mission uh, for Sam G, uh, his Bolt 52, so I fast traveled over here to Stellar Bay just so I can talk to him, and then we'll pick it up from there. Now, if we were like the other corporations, you Ow. wouldn't be allowed to run around dressed like one of Graham's minions. But we're better than that. See? Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, oh yeah, I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oh, so sorry. I already opened it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Oh, if you gave them your left kidney, yes, definitely a joke. Ha ha, definitely. Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. He's lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. No. You're insane. No, I am a company man. That's what you get for giving so much of yourself over to a corporation. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I built? Stellar Bay is barely keeping afloat. Yeah, do you want a medal? You're right. This place is a garbage heap. Please, I, I can't think about this right now. Celia, schedule 30 minutes of inconsolable weeping later today. I'll pad it out with an extra 15, sir. Now, was there something else you need? Uh, yeah, I have a question about the MSI and the good old days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Uh, how did MSI get kicked off the board in the first place? I've moment? asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Do you mean you initiated your own removal from the board? Oh, what an idiot. Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then, it was known as Terra One. Terra One and Terra Two, I see the board put their best people on that one. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. Yeah. That seems wise. MSI's leadership at the time certainly thought so. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. Reforms are for quitters, Sanjir. Nonsense! They're good business sense! Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. Yes, but no one to buy anything or to trade with. You're an idiot. <sighs> Who's this us when we were talking about? Hmm? Oh, well... There were surely other junior executives with more open minds, though none of them had the temperament to handle the paperwork. 
Who are you talking about? You're being cagey. Oh, I can't use it. I don't have good enough perception. I take the leap of ship to embrace your idea. No, they laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Really? That's... I'd have left him there. Yet here you are. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. Must have pissed off some real big suits to get stuck with that. On the contrary, I wrote lots of very important reports on behalf of top MSI officials before I was able to achieve this position. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. That's law, even for them. Why would they do that? You know, you could... You couldn't oppose them. That's law, I don't think them. I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Why exactly do you want the board back? What's the hazard clause? You don't think... You don't seem to think much of Graham. Let's go with that. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. Yeah, strong. Uh, maybe you should give them a chance, sure or not. A chance? They've been doing this for years. And I, well, let's just say I know enough about Graham to be confident that he won't change. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. All right, uh, what's the hazard clause? I don't know what that is. Straight first. bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. For the greater good, allegedly. Okay. And they evoke this on Monarch. Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. All right, I want to talk about something else because I don't, I don't want to talk about getting back into the board. What can I do for you? Uh, give him the bolt. 52, I found the cartridge. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. I don't think this will fit in any of my guns. See, Celia? He gets it. I told you he would. So you did, sir. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. Pen is really mightier. How charmingly quaint. But this is an electronic form. No ink need be wasted. It's an expression, sir? Well, it really shouldn't be. Electronic data is much easier to disseminate, but I digress. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Yes, finally, the board will get their comeuppance. 
Spare me the details. Tell me what comes next. There we go. Oh, let me guess. It's a paperweight, so you do want to go against the board. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going with paperweight. See, that doesn't even make sense. This is an electronic form. You don't need paperweights. Hardly the point, sir. Just tell me what you're planning. If you could kill raps half as well as you kill good jokes, you wouldn't need me. Or me. Perhaps you should explain the second part of the plan, sir. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. What the heck does that mean for me? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Okay, how do I make her people talk? Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Watch it with you. S watch it with the uh, you people. Of course, I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead, or someone working there. That would do it. All right. Well, this is gonna get interesting. Infiltrator Seeker Corporation base kidnap the staff. Sure, easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Execution? Really? I get to... I meet Graham at the landing pad guard. Oh, yeah. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang-up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Alright, uh, okay, I gotta go. That was way too long of a conversation. It was not supposed to be that long. Alright, let me find out what we're gonna do next. Be right back. Okay, so that is the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go see her. Alright, let's see what they got in the corporate chaos party here. As we run along you see through this today? town, no one cares that we are running right through this town. Let's talk to that. Is it, are we talking to that rude lady again? Folks are pissing in the alleyways as bad as it stinks. Oh, no, oh they are. Building. So that puddle I stepped in? Yeah, 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 the rude lady. All right. We still haven't done now, her bidding there's yet. there's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Let's talk about something sure. else. Sure. wants to know something about corporate operations secrets on Monarch. Oh, about the board factory. Let's do it like that. Oh, let's start with this one. Take care of your little drug running problem. Funny, you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. Uh, he tried to cut costs by using sprats instead of autoloaders. I take my fee for services rendered all the same. Deducted from his wages. I like that one. I'll get the full report from Nelson and his head on an iron spike as needed. His schemes rarely pan out, and I'm reaching the end of my benevolent understanding. This latest one... Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. And the poop. 
All right, about the board factory. What about it? Aside from the fact that I can smell it all the way from here. Uh, where can I find the factory building? You mean you can't just follow the stench trail or the squealing bloody murder sounds of little sissy piggies? Sisty Once piggies. you're clear of the bridge, follow the river southwest. All right, let's see. Uh... Sure. Weren't no skin off my nose. Sandier said you know something about corporate operation and secret and monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the northern bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. I'm already handsome. And I'll thank you kindly for it. Alright, that's out of here. So, we've got a few tasks for her to take care of. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure which is the first task I want to take care of. Uh, errors unforeseen. Should we just keep following that off? Sure, why not? That gets us out into some action. We're going to find missing people. Or they're missing drop anyways. Get going. We're gonna be the hero. As I hear the hero song playing in my my head poorly. I need a hero. That'll be us. We're gonna go play the hero. Oh. A little closer there. Nice and easy. Man, I didn't even look where this bridge is. Where the heck is this bridge at anyways? I'm going the wrong way. Oh, that's the bridge that blew up. Well, I don't need you guys yet. Down he went. Just in case there's somebody else nearby. Eh, nobody else seems to be here. All right, let's go to that bridge. Bridge. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of these. In my sight. Oh, there's a lot of these. Uh, change weapons. Change we The Manta Queen. Uh. Ow! 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 Just keep shooting. That was, uh, I knew that was a lot, uh, but I wasn't thinking it was that much. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, I'm going to do those upgrades because I earned them. That was a lot of killing. And I was poorly prepared for it. All right, be right back. All right, I up my rifle. That's what I chose to do, because why? Well, currently, I'm using a lot of rifles. Whoa! Oh! 
That's what will work. Okay. Oh, there's another one. You guys done? Okie dokie. Was not anticipating that ambush. Uh, got ambushed good. Still got over a thousand rounds of reload all, recap all guns here. Uh, that one's full. Clap pistol. There we go. Alright. Well, I handled that like a pro. No problem. Wasn't scared, wasn't frightened, didn't even back off. Oh crap, there's another one. I want my mommy. Alrighty. Come on, you little, little. Kill that thing! Whoa! Wait a minute! I didn't mean to change weapons. I mean to get, uh, healing! Okie dokie. That was uh, not cool. <clears throat> but I handled like a pro. That's right. I am a pro. Pro at getting my butt shot. That's what I'm a pro at. Holy. Alright. I think we're finally back at the bridge. Enough things been killing me. Better be back at the all right, there's the bridge. Hello there. A word, if I may be so bold? Sure. You can try to be bold. Well, now, here I thought those mantasaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Sure, I'm going to do some trading. I'll be right back. Alright, I've been back, and I think I got a new gun toy here. 204 versus 153. Though, this does say magazine size 6. They both have the same magazine size. Alright, that definitely hits harder, so we're going to go with that. Yes. All right. So, if that's not the answer to the bridge. Oh, crap. It's down there. I need a pathway now. All right. I need to work my way down to the site. It's going to be this simple. Oh, whoa. Not going to be that simple. Um... Now, this way looks like I can do this. Captain, you're fading! Ow, ow, ow. Ay, 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 that looked like it hurt. Uh, let's see, uh, let's grab some food. Whoop. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't mean to put it there. Good grief. Uh, equip, uh, use, a hold. There we go. There we go. I'll get a little health back. 
slowly, cheaply. Ah, what the heck is that? World like energy going through there. That's kind of cool. All right, looks like uh, we found some stuff. I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. Bunch of amateurs. Sublight should have seen this coming. He could have been attacked by all those creatures we just faced. We did face a few of them. Alright, what do we got here? Let's, wow, they had a good cargo going. A trail of blood leads away from the autoloader. 